Welcome back guys to this channel. It's a Monday afternoon. We're just out of the office after work and we're going camping. I'm here with my friend Marcel. Say hi to YouTube. Hello people of the internet. I'm here to test some of my equipment that I will be using. We will be heading out to the boys for three days and I want to use my hammock and this is what we will be testing today. The weather is quite awful to be honest. It has been raining all day and we are also expecting a quite chilly evening with a 16 degrees Celsius forecasted. So that will be interesting. Also I will have to be back at the office by uh, 8, 9, something like that. So it will be a, a short excursion. Alright, so we have found a good spot that we can use for hammock camping. Actually, this area is very desolate, so this is one of the most hostile environments we have ever camped at. But this is just to show you the versatility of the of the, the hammock style camping. And I want to go through the, the the gear that I will be using. So all of the gear is from Decathlon, and it's to show you that um, you can have uh, this uh, gears from a, from a, a relatively budget store. You don't need to spend. $300 on a, on, a, on a hammock or something like that. I have, uh, for starters, the hammock, obviously, very light. I will be using this uh, foam back protection uh, for uh, the insulation. And this is the, the thinnest that you can get, it's for summer camping. I also have a, a regular uh, Kilimanjaro sleeping bag. Uh, it's also rated for, uh, for summer, so nothing fancy here. And I have uh, the tarp. That you can get also at Decathlon. This one you can get in a package. Uh, it comes with two rods. It's very heavy, so I removed everything I didn't need. I really have just the tarp here that I will be using. I also have this uh, thin line which I will be using for uh, for a ridge line, and I have two straps. You can get these uh, in a way that they are set up for uh, hammock camping, but these come from uh, from a paragliding harness. This is actually used to connect. The paragliding harness to the paragliding reserve parachute. So these are, I think, quite uh, quite safe. These are used to be wrapped around the tree and protect the tree, give you a better grip on the tree. And I will be using exactly these products. So now I will set up a, a time lapse. And hammock setup is ready. It took me a good bit of 25 minutes to set it up. So it's, I think it looks good, all things considered. I really need to learn some knots because that's the tricky part. Probably this is disgusting if you look at it, but it works. So I will learn when I can and now it will be good for the night. I tested it uh, five minutes ago. It feels weird currently. But I think it will be fine. Uh, the insulation is very good. It feels very warm. That's uh, that's surprising. And the top also feels quite uh, assuring. I hope there will be no mosquitoes because I am afraid of those. Tell the viewers what are you going to have for dinner? Pasta bolognese, cold dried, hot water, and epic meal. Obviously, I'm very new to this hammock camping thing. I have two concerns, uh, mainly how am I going to sleep in this uh, in this thing comfortably, because it's a very different uh, alignment. Also, the other thing I'm uh, concerned about is 
is the dew. Uh, so the precipitation in the morning that will make everything wet. Uh, so I'm not uh, worried about myself getting wet, but my uh, my shoes and my my pack. So I will use my uh, my raincoat and and lay it over the over the pack. I hope that will work. And uh, happily, we don't have uh, any mosquitoes here. That will be another concern. And if it all works, it will be great. What what type of beers are we having? Okay, so as for myself, I was given this uh, beautiful IPA. We have some lager beer from the Czech Republic. Amazing. Some more lager beer from Czech Republic. Still amazing. Uh, and some more IPA. And for dinner, I am going to have canned food. And... Uh, this is, it says Rokot Kaposta, it's a Hungarian dish. You can get these in, in many stores in Hungary. The funny thing is, is that they all taste the same. Does, doesn't matter what it says on, on the label, it all tastes the same. So we will... Are you setting things on fire? Yep. But it's prohibited at this time of the year. Yep. Please don't set my blanket on fire. Good morning guys. I have survived the night. Not only survived, but actually f slept quite good, to be honest. It's 6 in the morning. Okay, let's get some coffee and then I can talk about my experience. Alright, first impressions. Uh, the first impression is that I don't have a pain in my back. Usually when I'm out camping I have some kind of pain in my all either upper or lower back and now I don't have any so that's great and I definitely see myself doing this more often in the future and using this as my standard rig there is a few lessons learned however first lesson learned the ridge line has to be lower than that it looks weird when it's lower and it's more difficult to get in but the mistake that I did is that uh, this other side which was here in the night was blown into my face by the wind so I need to get a better option of uh, tying it down to the, to the ground to keep it steady and out of my face uh, getting in and out took a bit of, bit of practice but now it works I used uh, the, the sleeping bag as I mentioned I didn't really tie it up or uh, I didn't zip it in when I had this uh, blanket on top and it was perfectly fine we had about 16 degrees uh, as forecasted, we will have to check what, what was the actual measure temperature. But it worked, worked very well for me. Uh, didn't feel cold or anything. And uh, the last lesson I've learned that I have is that we need to get some carabiners because even though I learned how to tie basic uh, bowlines, it's not it's not the best. It's difficult to tie them when it's under tension. So it would be better to tie them and then just clip them up with a with a carabiner. But that's it, and it's it's a very versatile very light rig and very very comfortable. I didn't believe uh, the guys when I saw it, so other guys use it, but I can say it from experience it's very very comfortable so it's, it's great. And it looks very hipster to be honest. You look like you look like you know what you're doing and that's the most important. So as we have finished I think my coffee is ready. So let's start drinking this coffee. Like a hipster. Mm. Good for you. And just like that. All right, guys, that was it for me today. It's a wrap. Lose the watches. Don't take life too seriously. And see you guys in the next one. Cheers.